Hi there, this is Plant Parade and this is my second Maya tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to render a mesh with a transparent background using an artificial green screen. So the background isn't actually going to be transparent, uh, the green screen is just going to be edited out in post, obviously. So I'm going to start here in this scene which I've already prepared. Uh, this is a sunflower I finished modeling today. Um, in case you're curious, the fuzzies there are actually X-Gen and the rest is just simple polygonal modeling. Okay, so to get started, we are just going to create a plane, and as you can see, it spawned in the middle of the sunflower, so it's kind of hard to see. So to start off, we're gonna to go to the Polyplane 1 tab under the Attribute Editor, and go ahead and reduce the subdivisions width and height both to one. This step isn't really necessary, I just personally like to do it. Okay, so next we're gonna apply an AI standard surface to the plane, and as you can see, this popped up as AI Standard Surface 6 for me. All right, so under the Surface tab in the Attribute Editor, we're going to go ahead and change the base color to a bright green. I always like to use this default green because I think it's like a very unique shade that I don't tend to use in any of my rendering. So you'll notice that my sunflower stem is green, but since this is such a bright neon shade of green, it shouldn't be an issue editing it out. I'm also going to increase the base weight to 1 and reduce the specular weight to 0. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and click on P Plane Shape 1, also in the Attribute Editor. I'm gonna scroll over to the Render Stats section. Uh, I'm gonna click this little drop down here and we're gonna go ahead and uncheck everything except for primary visibility. Then we're gonna go down to the Arnold section and do the exact same thing under the Visibility section. Uh, uncheck everything except for primary visibility. So basically what we're doing here is making sure that the green plane won't reflect any green or cast any shadows onto the model that we're trying to get a nice render of. All right, so finally, we're just gonna go ahead and position the green screen behind what you're trying to render. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna push it behind my sunflower like this and then switch over to my render cam. I'm gonna make sure that obviously it's covering every inch of the background. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a render going. Okay, so now that we have our completed render, that is pretty much it. Uh, the next steps, of course, would be to edit out the green screen, either in like Photoshop or After Effects, Premiere. So I know this is sort of a convoluted way of doing things, but I've always found it very helpful, so hopefully you will too. All right, thanks so much for watching.